In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to merge shapes in Adobe Illustrator. I'll show you three methods for merging shapes using the Pathfinder tool, the Shape Builder tool, and lastly, grouping. So in Adobe Illustrator, I'm just going to use the rectangle tool and create a simple cross pattern using two rectangles. So let's start by merging these shapes with the Pathfinder tool. So go up to Window, Pathfinder. You have lots of different options here. My favorite option is just to use this merge tool right here. So if you click it, it now created one shape instead of two. And you can see this if I were to change it from a fill to a stroke, you can see this is just now one shape. So in this Pathfinder menu, you can play with some of these other options. This option subtracts part of your shapes. This one kind of does the same thing, it subtracts. And this one will cut out a section of your overlapping shapes. So you can play with the various options in Pathfinder. But the one I use the most is this merge tool. Okay, the next tool I wanna show you to merge these two shapes is the Shape Builder tool. You can find it in your left toolbar, and it's right here. So if I click that, when I hover over my two shapes, you can see that this pattern emerges. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and hold and drag over all the sections of these two shapes, and this will merge them into one. So that tool is pretty cool and very easy to use. And the last thing I'm gonna show you is grouping. So let's say I want these to move around together in my artboard, but I don't actually want to merge them. So you can just go to Object, Group, or Command G, and that will place these two objects together in a group so you can more easily move them around and use them in your designs. So that's how you merge shapes in Illustrator. If you like this video, click the thumbs up and subscribe to Cry Studio for more graphic design and Illustrator tutorials. Thanks so much.